Hello. So the Great Storm just launched again. So this is for July of 2022. So we got our, like I said, same as last time, far as I know. You got login every day, each day. You get five action points. You got, like I said, every node you clear. There's 53 nodes in total. Every node you clear, you get progress on this quest. If you clear at least 45 nodes, you get this teasing uh, storm spirit uh, unique. Uh, if you're VIP level 7, you get 7 extra action points. Um, spending energy, up to 15,000, you get action points for 500,000, 1,500, 2,500, 3,500. So it looks like there's like 12, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, just 10. There's 10 action points available there. Um, if you buy emeralds, you can get um, a unique with 35. 5,000 spent in a frame with 70,000 lightning strike frame. Tree of life, if you summon uh, pets, you can get um, eight more charges here with 80 summons. Spending emeralds, you can spend up to 90,000 emeralds, though this does not scale very well. For most people, you could probably spend just three or 5,000 emeralds or seven, like I said, like three to 7,000. Um, most people, like, so here's the thing. You can spend 500 emeralds, get these two. This is pretty good value. You could get two of these action points for just 500 emeralds. And if you go up to 3,000, you get one more. It doesn't scale very well. Most people, I would recommend spending less, 7,000 or less. I wouldn't recommend really going above that. Yes, you get more coins, but it does not scale well at all. As far as scaling goes, it's pretty bad. But you don't actually need these action points. And you can actually buy action points for 500 emeralds each in the, in the Great Storm, which is generally much better than spending a bunch to get these. Like I said, if you do buy one for 500, you automatically clear this first quest. So for 500 emeralds in the thing, you can get three of these. Um, opening chests in the sanctuary. So these for adventures, if you can, there's 12 total. If you complete three adventures with four or four chests, you can get five extra action points. So that's all those. Um, so let's go there. Again, story is the same as last time. I will read through the whole story when I do the stream on... Sunday, so tune in for that because I will do a full playthrough. We're just going to skip over that for now. And like I said, you know, and you just win battles, find chests, destroy towers, defeat the boss, get coins. But uh, you can buy action points. You also start with five action points, but one action point costs 500 emeralds. So if you buy the one action point, that gets you six, but it automatically clears this quest here for two more. So for that 500 emeralds, you get three action points. You might have to buy a couple of flash points. Like if you're already VIP level 7, you can literally do this quest. You can get all the way to 45 plus nodes for 3,000, 5,000 emeralds. Like you probably won't even make it this to this far if you do it efficiently. You just literally, you just go along the rings. Um, you just kind of zigzag. I've done this in my themes, but generally the, the gist is you kind of, you start up here and then just kind of go and then zig, like I said, you go... See so right here, then go boom, 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 and just kind of zigzag here, and you try to get the outer rings here. Usually it's best start here, then go here, then here, and then just kind of go and get all these outer rings, and then once you have all the outer nodes cleared, you'll be over here somewhere. Like, you'll be right about here with the buff, then you can go here, then, then, um, let's see. Actually, you probably don't want to clear this one. You want to start here, then go here. Because you want to leave this one here so you can actually start right here. So when you go to the outer range, you want to go to the buff, to here. Like I said, this will be like the last of the... And then you'll go here for the last of the outer rings. And then you'll hit here. And then you could go either this way or this way. And that's the best way is to hit the bench of the outer ring on this node specifically. So you start here, then go here, and then leave this one up. And then you hit this node specifically. That way you can go either left or right because there are six chests hidden. And sometimes they're hidden in the in the out in the inner ring here. So if you have a choice of which direction to go, um, you can then uh, like so if you enter here, you can have a choice of which direction to go. So it makes it easier to find those last chests without using as more moves than you need to. And similarly, like if you know a chest is not in the spire, you can just leave it up. Um, if you, because it does tell you if, if you're if you cleared any of the adjacent nodes, it will tell you a chest is nearby. I'm not gonna clear any of the notes here because we're gonna do a full playthrough um, of this event. So I would recommend you uh, check that out. Uh, probably some of my previous ones, like I said, check out my check out like some of my previous ones. I have a whole lot of them. I will leave a link 
at the end of this video and in the description and in the comments. But yeah, not too much there. Oh yeah, and then we talked about the merchant and there's a merchant to spend the coins. Generally speaking, I recommend pet soul choice for most people unless you have all your pets absolute star and then in which case you probably just want to store them legacies. This gets you uh, pet potions, chaos particles, um, other random things. If you need jewels at all, it's okay to buy jewels as well for like the ones you need. Like obviously I don't need flawless ones. Um, buying jewels to sell them for particles is not efficient. If you just need particles, storm legacy is the way to go. But you know, keeping track of what you need for the jewels is also a great uh, idea. Like you can go to your pets and you can go make a notes like, oh, I need two flawless dust stones and an excellent dust stone for Fenris. Right, like I said, I mean, I have all my jewels already on all my pets. I've already got them all, so I don't need any more jewels for my pets. But there, they said there will be no, another pet uh, later this year. That's actually, I'll have to do another video about that. Because uh, that is something they've also mentioned, that there's another pet coming. And I'll do a video about that as well, uh, probably tomorrow. Oh, wrong one. Let's see. And, yeah, so I was going to show you. Oh, yeah, that's right. We are here. So many eggs. So if you summon... So you need to summon 80. So I recommend always keeping 80 pet eggs so you can summon them for the Great Storm. Great Storm happens every two months. And so that's 30. 40. 50. 60. 70. 80. I think that's 80. I might have did 90, but that's... I have I have some extras, so... Let's do that. And I guess we can buy those. Alright, so that should clear off all those quests here. So that gives me all these. Because there's 8 here. There was 5 from the login. There's five, 7 more for reach VIP. And then I got two more for spending, and that gives me, and we now have a total of 28, and all I've spent is 500 emeralds. Open up some uh, things. So you need about 50-ish to get about 45 nodes. Usually that requires me about 49, 50 in total to get to here. 45 is enough, usually enough to get you enough storm resistance so you don't die and get you uh, all the way to here. Because you'll, like I said, storm resistance. I didn't even mention that, but uh, storm resistance... Um, you see all these numbers here? That's how much storm power these are. It says that 15 storm. So it says you, your heroes lose 1.5% of their max health and pure damage uh, once per second. So this is uh, the number. So every time you uh, clear a node, you get 5 storm resistance. So clearing 45 nodes usually gives you enough storm resistance to clear the boss because the boss node has 250 storm power. So if you have 45 nodes clear or 44 nodes cleared through here, that'll get you um, 220 storm resistance, which is only means you'll be draining 3% of your health per second, which is enough to overcome with healing. Um, yeah, anyway, if you want to find out more about the Great Storm, I've done multiple playthroughs of this, so just click the video down below.